Congratulations, you're now a Big Green Egg owner. This instructional video will guide you through the simple process to unpack and assemble your mini egg. If you purchased a small, medium, large, or extra large egg, please refer to their instructional videos for that product. The mini Big Green Egg is packed in two boxes. You may have more depending on your purchase of additional products, which could include a nest. To get started, you will need some basic hand tools to complete the assembly. Scissors or a utility knife, a 7 16th and a 3 8 inch open end or socket wrenches. Unpacking your egg. To unpack, first cut the tape on the larger box with a pair of scissors or utility knife. Open the box flap and remove all cardboard spacers. Now carefully remove all the components and place them on the ground around you. To make this easier, you may cut the box down the side so it lays flat. Make sure to remove the remaining styrofoam and plastic wrapping inside and around all parts. Inside this larger box will be the ceramic base, ceramic dome, ceramic fire box, the ceramic fire ring, and the ceramic damper top. Do not remove the gray felt gasket from the rim of the base or dome. This gasket provides a seal when assembled. Next, unpack the components from the box labeled EK kit. This box contains the metal bands, rear and side hinge assemblies, dual function metal top, temperature gauge, cast iron fire grate, stainless steel cooking grid, and the necessary bolts and hardware. If you purchase the additional mini nest, it will be packaged in a separate box which contains three risers, a hub plate, and a packet of hardware. First, pick up the risers so that the feet are facing down and outward. Place two quarter inch by five eighth inch clinch studs downward into the two holes provided in the riser and ensure that they are pointing towards the feet in the riser. Now place those two same studs into the hub plate and hand tighten with supplied nuts. Repeat this process for the other two risers and tighten all nuts using a 7 16 inch wrench. You are now ready to assemble the lower band. At this point set aside the six number 10 half inch clinch studs with the supplied 3 8 inch nuts. You'll also need one of the quarter inch by one and a half inch hex head bolt with the two quarter inch flat washers and one seven sixteenth inch nut. Now place one of the two identical bands with the flange on the right hand side and insert the quarter inch by one and a half inch hex head bolt with one quarter inch washer already on the bolt through the hole in the flange and then through the opposite flange. With the bolt pointing at you, place a quarter inch flat washer and a 7 16 inch nut on the bolt and hand tighten. Counting from right to left and starting from the flange, insert a number 10 half inch clinch stud in holes 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Make sure the studs are pointing at you and hand tighten with supplied 3 8 inch nuts. You are now ready to assemble the upper band. For this band, you will repeat the same steps when installing the hex bolt, and then you will insert the remaining six number 10 half inch clinch studs, counting from right to left and starting from the flange in holes 1, 2, 5, 6, 9, and 10. Again, make sure the studs are pointing towards you and hand tighten with supplied nuts. You are now ready to attach the handle. Insert the quarter inch by half inch clinch studs in holes 11 and 12 on the upper band. Then attach the handle. Make sure the logo can be read correctly when you spin the band around. Now place a 7 16 acorn nut on each stud and hand tighten. You are now ready to install the rear and side hinge assembly. Place the lower band in front of you with the flange on the right and remove nuts from the studs in holes 5 and 6. Now attach the lower bracket of the rear hinge, replace the nuts, and hand tighten. For the side hinges, Place them on each side of the band with the oblong holes facing outward. Now remove four nuts, two left and two right of the rear hinge. First attach the right bracket, replace the supplied nuts, and hand tighten. Repeat for the left hand side. Please note, before moving to the upper band, make sure you tighten all the nuts using your 3 8 inch wrench on the rear and side hinges only on the bottom band. Now place the upper band directly on top of the lower band and remove the nuts from the studs in holes 5 and 6. Now lift the rear hinge into place and replace the nuts and hand tighten. To attach the side hinge, start by removing the nuts off the studs in holes 1 and 2 on the upper band and insert the studs into the oblong holes on the right side hinge. Replace the nuts and hand tighten. 
Repeat for the left, but using holes 9 and 10. Placing the egg and attaching the bands to the base and dome. You are now ready to attach the bands to the egg base and dome. Make sure the nest is sitting on a flat and stable surface with one leg directly in front of you. Now place the base so that the draft door is facing outward and is in between the other two legs. If you're sitting your mini egg in a wood table, please be sure you do not sit the egg directly onto the wood. As the bottom of the egg generates significant heat, we recommend that you place an insulating stone between your egg and the table to protect the wood. Warning: Failure to use the metal nest or to place an insulating stone between the egg and table could cause serious damage to your table and other property. Now, from the back, place the lower band around the top of the base, making sure you align the center of the rear hinge with the rear leg and tighten the hex head bolt using your 7 16th inch wrench. For this next step, please turn the egg around so the draft door is directly in front of you. Carefully lifting the ceramic dome and placing it on top of the base, Make sure the upper band fits around the lip of the dome and center the temperature gauge hole, the big green egg logo, and alignment hole with the center of the handle on the upper band. Now tighten the hex head bolt on the upper band. Working your way around the egg, make sure that every nut and bolt is tight on the upper and lower bands, including the handle. It's now time to add the internal components. Slowly lift the dome handle again until the dome is open and remains securely in place. Insert the firebox into the base by reaching through the center of the firebox and using the opening at the bottom as a handle. Be sure the opening at the bottom of the firebox faces the opening of the stainless steel draft door. Now place the ceramic fire ring on top of the firebox. Make sure the rounded notches in the fire ring are facing upward. Now place the fire grate, beveled edge down, in the firebox and then place the stainless steel cooking grid on top of the fire ring. Installing external temperature gauge, dual function metal top, and the ceramic damper top. To install the external temperature gauge, close the dome and simply place the probe of the thermometer into the small hole provided in the front of the dome, about halfway up from the handle. Then open the dome and use a supplied clip to fasten the probe from the inside. You must squeeze the clip to move it up the probe so it fits flush with the inside of the dome. Again, notice the gray felt gasket around the rim and the base of the dome. Do not remove this gasket as it provides a seal when the dome is closed. Now grasp the handle of the dome and slowly lower it. Place the dual function metal top on the dome when using the egg to control airflow. When not in use, the ceramic damper top lid is used to seal the opening. Do not attempt to remove the metal top until the egg is cool. Go back over the various nuts and bolts and double check to make sure everything lines up and is tight. Congratulations, you've now successfully assembled your mini big green egg and you're ready to enjoy the ultimate cooking experience. We know you're anxious to get started cooking, but before you do, please take just a few moments to register your egg and activate your warranty at BigGreenEgg.com. That's www.BigGreenEgg.com, where you'll also find great recipes and tips to get started. Remember, after using your egg a few times, ideally after your first four cooks and when the egg is cool, we recommend rechecking the various nuts and bolts once a year to make sure everything remains secure. Thanks again and welcome to the Egghead family. It's now time to enjoy your big green egg, the ultimate cooking experience.